got this 98 LS1 Camaro. We're gonna be installing speed engineering, inch and seven eighths, long tube headers, and the true dual kit. You also have to change the rear stabilizer bar, so we'll do that as well. So first, don't mind that, we're gonna fix all that. First, we're gonna take off this uh, brand new EGR valve on both this and the header, both the EGR valve, unplug it. And then uh, all these connections right here, unplug those, unbolt them, I'll show you guys. But right now I'm gonna spray all these header bolts with some penetrating lube and take off the spark plug wires because we don't wanna break any of those. Ten millimeter, take this off the intake. One of these electrical connectors, so there's just one. And there's two ten millimeters down here to hold that bracket onto the exhaust manifold. Take it out, cut it out. I'm not gonna cut nothing because I might wanna go back to stock one day. All right, so here's the two bolts that were on the head. Here's the two bolts on the flange with the tens. And this is the one that goes to the intake, this is the EDR valve. I'm gonna go ahead and bag all those bolts up and label them. So now I got the EDR out of the way, I'm gonna take the spark plug wires off and the coil packs just to give us more room to the header bolts. This is a 98, so the coil packs are individually bolted on the valve covers, 99 and up, maybe even 2000 and up. They're uh, on a bracket, so you just have to take the bracket off like five or six bolts and then all the coil packs come off as once. Not on this one. <laughs>
Right, so here it is. All the coil packs removed. You can see all those header manifold bolts. I'm gonna spray those down. Now that I have access to them, start taking apart the other side while they soak in a little bit. Pull those spark plug wires off. All right, so on the passenger side, disconnect to these two bolts right here, just like the driver's side. And we're gonna pull this big air hose out right here. And there's a T, so you could just pull them out. And just pull out. Pull them all out. The other one's gonna run along here to the air pump. You could either take the air pump out shed some weight most people just cut this hose right there unplug it so it doesn't run whatever you want to do i'm probably just going to cut the hose for now all right sorry i'm moving too fast for y'all i'm going to leave this side coil packs on because we have plenty of room. It's not as tight as this side over here. So I went ahead and took off all the spark plug wires. I'm gonna remove the spark plugs right now because when you loosen those manifolds and you pull them down, you will break those spark plugs. We just put new spark plugs on this in this not too long ago. So we're gonna run the same ones. So I'm gonna get, get those out. Then I'll be back. <clears throat> right, 10 millimeter. Let's see if I can get back there with this. Right, so we gotta remove the dipstick, 15 millimeter.
I know it's super, super oily down here, guys. Leaking from the power steering pump. We're doing that next for sure. Anyways, we're gonna do the uh, motor mounts next. They're right here. They look like a 13 millimeter with a 10 millimeter shield holding on the top two bolts. So I'm just showing y'all because it's hard to see once I set up the tripod. So you got that one center bolt. 18 millimeter on both sides and then those four 13 millimeters and the two 10 millimeters for that heat shield all right all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put uh, a lift jack on the motor to hold it in those 10 millimeters on top.
Thank you. So here's the old motor mount. Look at that. New one. Solid. Hold on. Clapped out. That's a horsepower loss right there. That's what it is. That's really what's happening. solid get this in dude the other side i'm not gonna record the other side because y'all got it y'all got the picture got the motor mounts installed tightened up ready to install this kit starting with the headers Alright guys, as you can see, I installed the whole kit. My phone died. It's all straightforward. Just pull the kit up online and just follow how they have it. Put all the pieces together. Don't tighten nothing up, including the headers until you get everything on. Because the bolts are slotted up there. So get the whole exhaust on right now. Then push it up where it needs to go and then you can tighten the back header bolts and they'll stay they won't sag at all so everything's nice and tucked up here so i'm gonna get everything tightened up get the headers torqued down then we'll adjust the tips we also got to do the o2 extensions o2 sensor plugs are up way up here so we just got some extensions to go back here make them longer Still gotta put the spark plugs on, new spark plug wires, all that stuff up top. 